Hey guys, Crypto Dad here. Today we're going to download and verify the Hunix operating system. So let's get going. So if you've been following my video series uh, so far, we have installed uh, a Debian operating system with an encrypted solid state internal hard drive. And we boot the system from a flash drive that has a key file on it. So we have very good physical security. It's going to be very hard for someone that's not authorized to gain access to this system, even if they have their hands on it, you know, uh, because you can hold and hide this flash uh, key drive and uh, we put a password on it. So very good physical security. After that, we've uh, tweaked a little a uh, few of the settings, the network settings to reduce the network footprint of our computer and make it difficult for anyone to tell uh, who we are or where we are when we connect to the internet. We download our Debian updates through the Tor network and uh, we can install software the Debian way through the Tor network. So we got a really good secure system. So the next step is to get up and running with the Hunix operating system, which is a Tor based operating system. It has two components. It has the Hunix gateway, uh, which is the base system that connects to the Tor network and gives us kind of a platform. And then there's the workstation, which actually does all of the work, as the name implies. And it sits on top of the gateway. And so this workstation uh, operating system, which is a virtual operating system, it runs within VirtualBox. There are no way, there's no leaks, basically, because it's running on top of the workstation. I'm sorry, the gateway. So it has no way of uh, connecting to the clear net, uh, no matter what, okay? So we still have to take a few precautions, but it's a very, very robust and secure way to connect to the internet through the Tor network, okay? So there are two ways to do this. Uh, as you know, we've been running along with the uh, anonymous guide and it's been, uh, hasn't done us wrong yet. But I have run into a few pitfalls doing things the way that they've laid out. Now, I should say that the way that they have us downloading uh, the Hunix uh, images and the signing keys and the signing files is very secure, very tight, very OPSEC. Okay? The other way, the way that I've done it at times, is not quite as secure, but sometimes a little more practical. So let me walk you through both ways and I'll explain what the difference is and why I have my other way of doing it. Let's go up here to the big screen. Okay, so the, the anonymous guide gives us a way of downloading the Hunix images uh, through the Tor Sox protocol. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is uh, launch our terminal window. Okay, I'm gonna make it big here. Okay, so the commands that uh, the they want us to run are first command, and I'm going to, of course, as usual, I'm going to put all these commands down in the uh, description. Okay, actually, they want us to be in the. I'm going to cut. I'm going to. I'm not going to do this quite moment but I now that I've got this nice command here I'm going to copy it uh, first thing they want us to do is be in the downloads directory which makes sense so we're going to CD into our downloads which I always manage to misspell okay all right so now that we're in the downloads directory I'm going to uh, shift control paste this command back in here Okay, so let's break this guy down here. I know it's kind of long and crazy. This is our Tor Socks command. Uh, this, this is just an indication that we're using the Tor network uh, through the command line to do this. This is our wget, which is a fairly standard uh, internet command. And we're feeding it a uh, internet address, the Hunix website. And we're in a subdirectory here, the Linux subdirectory trying not to click this and inside this subdirectory is a f uh, another subdirectory of the latest version of Hunix and then this last part is the actual file we're looking for the Hunix gateway 13.0.0.1.4.ova which is our virtual disk image uh, that we can use so uh, that's the command and then we enter that and hit enter 
and it connects okay and then it starts to download and this is a very safe and secure way of getting this particular image file only problem is it's quite long okay it takes a quite a long time to download I can see here uh, we're up to 90 minutes 84 go back and forth uh, okay it goes down it fluctuates back and forth I have had it download uh, reasonably uh, a reasonable amount of time and then I've had it take an unreasonable amount of time to download okay as you can see it looks like we're getting back to 64 minutes uh, okay we just ticked 1% okay so that is the pitfall that I've run into I've had this thing download halfway and then just sort of stop uh, I've downloaded three quarters and kind of stop um, I'm pretty sure that if it if it fails you can just run the command again and if there's a partial in your downloads folder it will pick up where it left off other times maybe not it's a little quirky a little tricky uh, and like I said because we're going through the Tor network and this is a pretty good size file there are pitfalls to it downloading properly speed being the main one okay so I'm going to go ahead and control C out of this. I'm going to uh, leave this to you. If you want to go for it, that's great. I'm going to leave all the commands in the description that uh, give us the other components of these downloads. Okay. Um, workstation and gateway are both very similar. Uh, let me do the... Uh, this one is fairly small. So let me just show you what happens when we do this. I'm doing it in two pieces because in the anonymous guide it's on two different lines and that's a little problematic when I cut and paste it that way. Okay, so here um, the next command is also the same Tor socks. Another wget from the same website okay but in this case we're downloading the ASC file which is the uh, signing file for or the signature file for the Hunix gateway OVA uh, disk image alright and we'll hit enter and we get connected and you see that that one downloaded quite nicely very quickly okay and I'm gonna go ahead and download the other one this one is the Tor socks for the workstation. Oops. Well, please. Yeah, see, I, I got ahead of myself there. It needs to be done in two pieces because when I, there's that uh, line break that uh, causes trouble. So we want to download these two pieces. When you uh, cut and paste from my description, you should just get the entire line without a line break in there, so you won't have that pitfall. All right, and here we go. We're downloading the uh, signing file. The ASC extension tells us that it's a signing file, and it's for the workstation. Okay, and that was successful as well. Okay, and then the next one that they want us to download is the signing file for the developer. His name is Patrick, so we're downloading and we're downloading this to the Torsox as well. And as you can see, that one worked out pretty well. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to do a little uh, magic here. I don't know if you call it magic or not, but I had these files downloaded already in my downloads folder. Uh, this guy I don't need. That's the one that we started to download and never finished. Okay. Uh, okay. Here in the Unix folder. Open the window. These are our two little guys that we we're after, right? The ones that were quite a, quite large here. Uh, two gigs and 2.2 gigs, which by today's standards aren't that large. You know. But I'm just going to drop these guys into downloads. Okay. So now they're there. 
Okay, um, we'll just assume that they downloaded properly and we can find out. Let me get rid of this window. I'm going to walk you through the next few things here. Okay, so as you can see, uh, now we have all of these uh, signing files over here. We got the Hunix Gateway with the signing file. We got the Hunix Workstation with the signing file. And then we've got our uh, friendly little Patrick uh, signing key over here. And so we can go through these other two uh, little uh, processes, these little commands here. I'm just going to type it out, doggone it. I don't need to cut and paste. This is a GPG fingerprint command. Ah, pardon me. I did not type it correctly. With fingerprint. Dash fingerprint. Okay. And Patrick. Dot ASC. Okay. Okay, so we're basically we're verifying the signature file with the fingerprint. Okay, and there we go. Where is that darn fingerprint? Hmm? Hmm. I don't even see it. Should show me a fingerprint, eh? Doesn't look like it does in the guide. So perhaps. Okay. Anyway, we need to look at this guy's fingerprint, and it did not show me that. Unless I misspelled something here that I don't think I did. Uh, or misspelled fingerprint. Doesn't look like it. GPG with fingerprint. Patrick.asc. Okay, well, maybe you see. Uh, <laughs> so, there is another way to look at this guy's fingerprint. Let's just go to their website. So, we can go to the uh, Hunix website. Uh, let's see here. There it is. Okay, so we're here at the Hunix website, and we can let's. Uh, I'll make it bigger for you guys so you can see it better. Okay, so we go to download now and go to Linux. They're going to take us to the same page, and over here, uh, we're for install uh, the download Hunix Gateway and Workstation. We want to hit expand. That's a little crazy, but th that's how it works. And then we can see over here that uh, D D D. Yeah, they don't have this fingerprint here either, for Pete's sake. Well, let's see. Uh, well, the fingerprint is on the uh, anonymous guide, so I guess I could uh, eyeball that, and I'll sh I'll I'll put his fingerprint in the uh, description. We'll just do it that way, gang. Let's do it on the fly, eh? Okay. So anyway. Uh, you, now that we're here on the website, uh, I might point out that we can download it from the website through HTTP direct without going through uh, the Tor network. And if you're having trouble using that Tor socks command, this would be the way to go. Now also, I mentioned, uh, if you watched some of my previous videos, I showed you how to set up the VPN in Debian. And so we can go over here, I uh, showed you how to set it up in GNOME. So uh, to give yourself a little uh, added security, we could, let's say, let's use Chicago and watch it connect. You can see it's really hard for you to see on my computer because it's pretty small, but I am connected to the Chicago VPN. So at least we have some privacy. We don't have full anonymity, but we do have a bit of privacy and um, we can download those two files um, such like this and uh, choose save file and it asks us where you want to download it and it would download it to our in this case the downloads folder and so as you can see we can do this without going through Tor and if you're having trouble downloading it through Tor and it's failing 
or it's taking way too long, this is an alternate way to do it, just directly from their website. And then as you, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because as you can see, I have both the workstation and the gateway on my computer already. Okay. And then the next thing we need to do is a verify. I don't know why I did not get that fingerprint. Okay. All right. All right. So now we want to import into our keychain, which actually uh, we can do through a command line, which would G, uh, just be a basic GPG import. Uh, with the name of the key, we're in the right folder, so we don't need to put any, uh, you know, directory information in front. This is the current directory, and then also, uh, you would just hit enter on that. But you can also do the same thing with the uh, GPA, and uh, the GPA is a graphical user interface that we can use to import keys as well and uh, I'll show you how to do that that's pretty straightforward as well just do import and then uh, we go down here to downloads and Patrick is down here right there you can just open that guy up and as you can see it's imported it and then if we uh, click on top of Patrick we'll see this fingerprint it's displayed down here as well whoops Jeez. okay there it is, guys. Uh, and it does match, if I can just double check here, it does match the uh, fingerprint that is provided to me by the Anon Guide. I'll show you that too. The Anon Guide fingerprint here is 916B, AD99, blah, 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 down to CCDA at the end. And that is the same thing that we have here, the one that got generated from the uh, signing key that we downloaded. So we got a good signing key. We've matched our fingerprint. Now we just need to do our verify, which is also pretty straightforward. So we're going to do our GPG dash dash verify. And the command is, uh, we'll start with the gateway. I'm going to copy this guy. We're going to, I'm going to do a paste with uh, shift control V, shift control V paste another space shift control v paste and we're going to backspace out that extension so basically this command is telling us telling the computer we got a gpg we wanted to do a verify we wanted to verify this particular signing key on this particular file okay and then we we have uh downloaded the uh, developer signing key so we should get a nice little verification of our download uh, and this is vitally important with the Hunix okay we want that guy to be perfectly verified okay so here we go signature made it was a good signature we do get this warning that we don't know uh, for sure that the signing key belongs to the owner we've talked about this at length before you need to meet the owner in person and have them write that fingerprint down for you. That's the best way to verify. Barring that, uh, we can meet uh, for a signing key party uh, with some of your friends in the crypto uh, community. Uh, there's also the circle of trust where people that maybe you know have signed his signing key so that we can also get a, you know, uh, a circle of trust verification of his signing key. But barring that, we download a signing key from the Hunix website, and we trust it to the to the certain extent that the fingerprints match. And here we go. We see that fingerprint once again here, and that is the same fingerprint that is provided to us by the anonymous guide, uh, independent. It's a third channel, as opposed to just seeing it on the website. Because as we mentioned before, the website can be a large ruse that has the signing key and the fingerprint, and they can both be uh, from an adversary that's uh, pers impersonating this website. So we have uh, an independent verification of this fingerprint. That's a pretty good verification. So the signing key verified our installer. We trust the signing key and the signing key says that we can trust the installer. So we know we got a good installer. So let's go for the next one, which is workstation. 
we'll do the same thing cut and paste this guy I'm gonna do a copy I'm gonna do a GPG dash dash verify okay then I'm gonna do a shift control V paste a space and then another shift control V paste and we'll backspace up and there we've got our beautiful command right one more time we got a GPG we got the dash dash verify switch sorry about that guys and then we've got uh, the Hunix signing file with the ASC extension and right after that we got the file we want that uh, signing file to verify we hit enter and we let it churn away for a minute or two or a second or two so to speak maybe about 10 or 15 seconds and BAM there we go again we've got a good signature from Patrick uh, we've got a warning that we don't really know that this signing key belongs to him, but we're going to assume that it does based on this fingerprint that it got generated, which matches the fingerprint provided to us by a third party, the anonymous guide, and I'm going to provide that fingerprint for you in the description. So, I know it's a little long and involved, but that's the long and short of it. All right. We're going to switch over here to our goodbye. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoy my videos. Uh, we're on a step-by-step -step journey to get a uh, very hardened system. Okay? Anonymous. No one knows it's our system. Physical security. No one can get into it and see the content that we're dealing with. And then network security. We've got very hardened network security. Now we've just downloaded and installed, or we haven't installed it yet, but we've downloaded and verified the Hunix operating system, which is going to be our bread and butter when uh, we launch our system, and then we launch our virtual box, and then we run the Hunix operating system. This will be our base system from which we run all of our operations from. Okay, very tight, hard security. Okay, we're going to be anonymous. We're going to have privacy. Uh, based on this uh, VPN and uh, the Tor network is going to be our uh, base system that we're running the Hunix gateway and workstation on top of. So once we get there, I'm going to show you all kinds of fun stuff that we can do on the internet once we have this very reasonable assumption of privacy and anonymity. So I hope you joined me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a like if you learned something and subscribe to my channel if you want to be alerted when I post a new video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.